I got the knowledge, it's, it's even tougher because you want to read good things about yourself. You know, we know that we have a good football team coming back. But when we come back in August, we got to turn off all the news, all the Twitter machine, all that, and get back to work and do the things that we're to come. Danny Ellen did a good job for you, but it seems like we run the football. Uh, Joe's very smart. We're, we're going to football. One scrimmage uh, this past spring, we had 80% completion rate. So we get better on offense, we get better throwing the football. Joe's the leader. I think he's having an excellent year. How, how hard is it to get perhaps those wide receivers right now? Three, three, three wide receiver sets, four wide receiver sets, five wide receiver sets. We got two outstanding freshmen coming in. We're going to keep them fresh. All those guys need to play. So it's given us a national champion. You know, we talk about the things that count fundamentals, uh, ongoing skill development, one team, one heartbeat. Obviously, our guys know the end result would be great right there. That's what we're all striving for. But we can't look that far down the road. We got to concentrate on camp and then get ready for Georgia Southern. Obviously, we went to the spread offense. Uh, his ability to change the plays at the line of scrimmage, his ability to get, keep the ball moving with short passes. we got to get better at intermediate routes and got to get better on third down. The line needs to do a better job of protecting, but we need to get the ball away quick so we don't get as much pressure. There's one guy that he He's a quiet Bobby Hebert. Why is that? He's tough. Uh, the team believes in him. You know, I played with Bobby. We knew Bobby was going to make the play. Uh, Joe plays like a linebacker. He's a hard worker. He's in the work first, in the work last. The biggest thing about Joe Burrow is his teammates and his coaches believe in him. Would you say that last year our receivers grew in footwork? This year we got to do a better job of catching the football. I, obviously, we're excited to see Justin Jefferson. Jamar Chase, Terrace Marshall, Stephon Sullivan, D. Anderson had a great spring. And then we have two guys coming in, Trey Palmer and Devontae Lee. So we have a lot of guys returning. We need to get the ball to them, keep them fresh. It's a long season. You know, Miles really turned it on in the fourth quarter program. He really grew. He got up to 210 pounds and became a leader. He was breaking down the team. You can see the excitement in Miles. Miles knows he is going to play this year. He's healthy. He's following Joe. Joe showed him a lot of stuff. But Bounce's talent, he probably has a better arm than Joe, a better release. Uh, we'll see what happens. What do you think is? I believe preparation, hard work. Uh, obviously, LSU is a national brand. But we were able to go out last January. We couldn't talk to the guys, but went to the schools. And we identified some guys in this class that we wanted to come visit early or come take unofficial visits. Uh, we're doing well in California. We're doing well in Ohio. Texas, uh, Virginia, uh, we, we're a national brand right now. We're going to continue to do it, but it's always going to be Louisiana first. That, and that's something that popped out to me. Is that you? you? First of all, we gauge the interest that the player has in us. A lot of players from out of state want to come to LSU. They want to come to the SEC. They want to come play with the best. So that's what we started for. And then we go to schools where we have connections. Guys, you know, I've been in California for 11 years. I've got a lot of contacts out there. Those guys believe in what we're doing. Uh, we went to Ohio. Uh, those guys were attracted to LSU. We went to Baltimore. Those guys attracted to LSU. So I think that it's because LSU has a national brand. On that defensive line, 